Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have a, I don't know if this is going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be Michael's and Joanne stuff, like craft stuff, but um, I don't know what's in here. I do know that I bought eight CD holders for my signed Taylor Swift CDs. I don't have eight. I think I have six, uh, but I wanted them to be kind of uniform and be able to display them instead of them just being in a box. So I bought some of those for my signed CDs and I have some Christmas stuff. I have a, a little bit of fabric to show you too. So let's just get on into it. I feel like I have bunny fur in my face. Um, so let's start with Michael's because this just came in. The Joanne stuff I got from the store, like I actually went in, but the Michaels, I also went to Michaels. You might have seen my Michaels grab bag opening video that I just did, but this stuff I got online at Michaels. I'd like to know, it's, it's December 1st right now, are you done shopping for people? Because I am not. Um, I bought my mom a coach bag. It was very cute. And then they canceled my order because they sold out. They sold too many and they canceled my order. So now it's back to square one. Both my mom and dad said, don't buy me anything for Christmas. And I'm like, I want to. Um, the only person I'm actually done with is my sister-in-law, which like everyone else I've known since literally birth, but I've known her for like a year and yet she's the only one that I've completely finished shopping for it's weird but um so she is done but my actual brother my actual parents nope not done at all so um let me show you bunny he is so loud right now he's just clomping around i don't know what his deal is he's in a weird mood today this is a little box that i was originally going to use for my sister-in-law but now i don't know um, because I don't know if her stuff will fit in it. I'll have to see. Um, I, I thought this would be a little bit bigger. Uh, and it's not. So. But it's cute. It's got little puppies on it. It's all Christmassy. And it's got a big old bow. Um, what's funny is that my sister-in-law's name is my name. So. <laughs> kind of weird. Um, so I was just thinking like on that note card. It's going to say to Natalie from Natalie. <laughs> anyway, um, cute. I like it, but it's, it might not fit her stuff in it. I don't even remember what I got her. I just know she's done. This I was going to have for my brother, but again, I don't know what I'm going to get him. I kind of want to get him like a nice bottle of something, which obviously won't fit in this, but it's like, I don't know what he drinks. <laughs> I don't know. I know he likes like beer and stuff, but he's, I know he probably, he looks like he would like bourbon. I'm assuming he would like bourbon, but this is little trucks all over it and snow and got a little, it's cute. It's cute. Bunny. This I was going to have for my dad, which I still could if I got him a bottle of something. That could fit in there. And then I could like wrap it and like with the cellophane and stuff. And a big bow. So this looks like this. It's a little like, what would you even call this? What do they call this? Decorative container. Sure. It looks nice. It's got like wood all the way around it. And then this little, oh, like painted on it looks like. I thought it'd be fabric at the front, but little snowflakes. Probably put a bottle in that. The next thing is all wrapped up. I have a signed Taylor Swift album, the Midnight's album, and she signed a little paper insert, like a picture, and it's got a signature on it. So I was going to put it in this and hang it up, hang it. Uh, looks nice. Quickly running out of room for this stuff. The last thing I got is this little wreath which looks a little sad, honestly. This wreath is not very full. Like, look at that. You can see the, the light through it. It's not very good. 
and it's all these spots where it's like like what is that I'm gonna have to like mess with it a little bit pull them out make it look a little fuller and then put a big old ribbon on it and put it on my door so that was everything in the first box and I think in the second box the only thing that's in there is my eight album cover things CD things but we will find out because I'm gonna open it next I did not bring scissors over here and this one is not open I opened the other one and not this one they taped this up too well yep that's all it is it is an eight pack CD display case it came in two boxes I guess two boxes of four I'm gonna open up one of them would you be interested in watching me actually put them together or is that boring he is literally out of his mind right now so looks like this oh these are nice so this is what they look like I would probably display them like that personally I hope I can I don't think these are are these squares surely surely albums are or CDs are squares right yeah I would display them like this with the cover here and the CD here yeah because there's only a back grippy thing here not here so I'll have to figure that out because I really don't want them facing this way I don't like that um, but I got eight of those so when she comes out with her next re-recording which we all know will be speak now um, I will buy that too and on to Joanne I spent a lot of money at Joanne and they put it all in one bag and I'm like All my money is in that one little bag. Uh, the first thing that I got, just ignore him scratching the floor over there. I got little red satin bows and then they're gold on the other side, which is fun. So I'm probably going to put one on my little wreath for the front door and one on my Christmas tree. Cute. They were 50% off, so they were $4.99, but they were actually $2.50, which I think is a pretty good price, I guess. They feel like they would be good quality. My long receipt. If you thought that wasn't interesting, this probably won't be any more interesting. This is all, like, fabric and also buttons. So I'll start with this, which is holographic. Ooh, ah, is the correct response to that. Uh, this was a fabric remnant, remnant, so it was like the end of the, what do they call that, a bolt? Or is that considered when you buy the whole thing? Is that, that's a bolt, but like, is it like a skein of yarn? Where like, a ball of yarn is a skein of yarn? Is a thing of fabric called a bolt? Or is it the yardage that considers it a bolt? Anyway when they get to the end of a thing of fabric the rest of that that doesn't go up to a yard they consider a remnant if you don't know so um this was a I, I bought several remnants and their remnants go on like half off they're they're always half off so this was actually a full yard one full yard of it um it's originally 20 bucks which like that's high so it was 20 bucks but I don't I, I don't know what I actually spent on it mirror foil silver 749 is what I spent on a full yard of this fabric which is pretty good 749 isn't bad um, it is like feels like vinyl like like a vinyl seat or something but it's cute and I'm excited to do something with it it looks like it would be kind of slippery so I don't know how to use it. If you have any ideas, let me know. The next thing I got is a Snoopy fabric, which I got to make my mom like a coin purse, like a zipper pouch or something. I don't know. I've never sewed with a zipper before, but I own zippers for sewing. So I'm going to give it a shot, watch some videos, and see if I understand what they're saying. So, um... Hopefully I'll have a nice little bag and if not I've seen them on Etsy, so I'll just buy them uh, But it would be nice to make it for her. I think she'd like that better um, And then for the lining hopefully this will work because I don't know 
dimensions, but I got this as the lining because Woodstock is yellow. So I thought that would be cute to have the lining like in the inside match the outside, you know? So that's my plan for that. And then probably a yellow zipper if I have one. I have a bag full of zippers, but like yellow? I don't know. Otherwise, it'll be a black zipper. I'll show you another remnant. This is gorgeous. Again, what would I do with this? I have no idea. So this was 0.4117, 4 17 4 of a yard. Is that almost a half a yard? Um, it was originally $29.99 a yard. Like, could you imagine? That's a lot of money. And then let's see how much this cost. $4.69. That's okay. That's an okay price. I mean, considering how, like, intricate this is, it's got, like, sequined flowers, and it's, like, lace. It's very... A sequin just came off. Hmm. And it's not very good quality, but it is cute. So, again, what would you do with this? I can't make stuff. <laughs> I've, I've, like traced around a tank top and then cut out the tracing and then sewed together a tank top but like I don't know how to use patterns though to like make stuff so I don't know I don't know what to do with this but again any suggestions would be fantastic this is a nice one this is almost a full yard. It's 0.945 yard at $5.99 a yard, which is a pretty good price. And then I got a discount on it. So this was, this was $164 for almost a full yard of this fabric. That's crazy. That's awesome. It is 100% cotton. So that's good. Dot black. It's obviously black and it's dotted. That would look cute with the Snoopy pattern too. But I think the yellow looks better for that. I'll find, that's probably going to be a lining for something else. I got two fat quarter bundles, would you say? Oh, it says it right there, bundle. Yeah. Yeah, you would say that. Uh, so this is, these are both Christmassy. So it's got like Santa Claus, some trees some Rudolphs. Well, he doesn't have a nose, so just, I guess, deer, reindeer. This one is why I bought it. This, like, it's white and it has little mints on it. That's so cute. And then this one has gingerbread houses. And then this other one, I love this fabric. This is why, this is the one that made me buy this fabric, was this one. And then there's, like, Christmas polka dots. And then... A fox. Is that all that's on there? Yeah, it's just like a Christmas fox. Um, I'm going the wrong way. There's like sparkly little Christmas motifs, including this little gingerbread man that's glittery. That's really cute. And then the last one is this like red snowflake pattern. The rest is all buttons. I kind of went button crazy. I don't know how to use buttons either. How do you make a buttonhole? Surely you could do that with a sewing machine, right? I have never, I don't know how to do that. So um, I'm going to look that up because I bought a lot of buttons. Um, I, I have used buttons for my crochet stuff before. Um, like I've made purses and put little buttons on it and then like crocheted a little handle thing for the button but um, I've never used buttons for sewing and that's what I want to use them for so if you have any suggestions again for a very new beginner let me know all your suggestions below but I got two of these because they reminded me of Taylor Swift cardigan and they're like glittery stars the buttons were like buy two get three free or buy three get two free something like that so I got five of them this is a big bag of buttons, and they're all hearts. I like that. So they're all different shapes and colors. They're very cute. I got basically the same thing as the stars, but these are pink hearts. Cute. 
And the final one for that deal were Mickey and Minnie's, and they're glittery. Like the black isn't, but the red part is glittery. I found some on clearance. So these weren't part of the deal, but they were cute, so I bought them. It's purpley, but like, look at that. It's like pearly purple. I don't know. It's really pretty. And then look at these pretty ones, too. Could you imagine that on like a sweater or something? I don't know how to make anything, so I'm not good at anything. But if I were good at something, I would use those. And then there are these little pink, like pearlized buttons and this was 97 cents and the other two were a dollar 97 and I think that's what I paid probably yeah that's that's what I paid for them because I did have a 10 off 50 coupon that applied to everything else but the I guess right 10 off 50 I guess it just maybe it just took the ten dollars off I don't know I don't know how it worked but um either way I saved ten dollars oh and also they were with if you go to joanne a lot get the app because they also sometimes do like if you spend thirty five dollars you get a five dollar back reward and i spent over thirty five dollars so i got that reward so i also have five free dollars for next time i go to joanne i always think these videos are going to be so short and then i'm just shocked when then they're not <laughs> so uh i hope you enjoyed this video <sighs> I'm sleepy now. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.